Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here is your TIP daily for August 2nd, 2012. Okay, so let's start off with some fake iPhone 5 prototypes from neowin.net. Now, this company claims to have gotten their hands on the iPhone 5, but taking a look at these pictures, it's clearly a, a model. It is a physical 3D model, but it is certainly not a working device. Now looking at these pictures, this mock-up does match up with the other concepts and uh, schematics we've seen floating around, but the home button is all wrong, the front-facing camera is way too big, the screen isn't a screen, it's a picture, and there's no microphone in between the camera and the flash on the back. So all in all, assuming that the leaked two-tone design is correct, uh, this gives you a pretty decent idea of what the iPhone 5 will look like, but definitely isn't a real iPhone 5. Next, an interesting Apple patent service today. Now, if you know anything about Apple rumors and patents and stuff like that, you'll know that most of the Apple patents that hit the web and get people excited uh, never really amount to anything, so definitely take this with a grain of salt. But these patents detail an iPad smart cover with some added features. You can draw on a screen on the smart cover, and there's also one that has a like, little strip of the screen on one of these sections that could be used for the keyboard for the multitasking bar or something. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of the Microsoft Surface Keyboard. Uh, that being said, I'll be interested to see if Apple does pursue this further considering the response that the Microsoft Surface Keyboards got. Okay, next, for some reason today, people on Twitter were freaking out about the iPhone 5 costing $800. Uh, I don't know where this rumor originated from. I don't think it's from a reliable source. And even if it is, even if this mystery Twitter guy knows what he's talking about and the iPhone does cost 800 bucks, uh, all of the iPhones cost around that price um, before they're subsidized by a carrier. You know, if you want to buy an iPhone off contract, it's going to cost you five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Uh, that's why we buy them with contracts. So uh, chances of Apple releasing an iPhone 5 on contract at eight hundred dollars is uh almost zero. So if you were worried about that, I wouldn't be. All right, and finally, at a press conference in Tokyo today, Sharp's new president, Takashi Okuda, said that his company will indeed be shipping screens for the next iPhone later this month. Now, there's no details on how many, what size they are, when the device will come out, and who else is providing screens for Apple, but this is good news just because it's coming from a major, reliable source, and it's a major company, and it shows that the gears are definitely in motion. Uh, towards getting us the iPhone 5 or next gen iPhone or iPhone 6 or new iPhone as soon as possible. Okay, well that's it for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'm going to leave you with a question of the day and that is, would you buy a smart cover with a keyboard or with a screen or with a tiny strip of a screen on the side? Um, I wouldn't. Uh, it'd probably be really expensive. The leather smart covers now are almost $100, so I can't imagine how much they would be if there's a keyboard on one. But I just want to see if any of you guys would pick one of these up, so let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Uh, please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com.